So as we've talked about, Donald Trump is really doing well in this early moment of the Re Republican primary for 2016, uh, 2016's Republican presidential nominee. And Donald Trump, well known birther who has questioned the validity of President Obama's birth certificate, blah, blah, blah. As a result, I thought it would be great to go back to March 4th of 2010, the first time that the queen of the birther movement, Orly Tates, appeared on the program. And um, we will sort of contextualize where the birther movement originated and one of its per, uh, uh, main supporters, Orly Tates. This is her first of several. She's been on the show several times. First of several appearances that Orly Tates made. Just remember a lot of Bur Donald Trump's ideas about President Obama, uh, uh, about President Obama's birth certificate and nationality originated with the ideas of Orly Tates. Thank you. Uh, by the way, uh, let me correct you. It's not the issue whether he is a U.S. citizen. The issue is whether he is a natural born citizen, which is a requirement to be the president. And You're it's right. much more, and it's much more than just uh, the birth certificate, because regardless of where Obama was born, in Kenya or Hawaii, or even if he were to be born in the White House, the issue is the fact that he was never legitimate as a president because he had multiple citizenships, because he had uh, and still has allegiance to different nations from birth until today, and that's Great Britain, Kenya, and Indonesia. Right. That was important to correct. I, I stand corrected. Let, let's start from the beginning. I want to go first, let's go through your background and how you came to be really a very visible spokesperson at this point for this movement. Um, one question I've been getting from the audience that they really want to know is how long did it take? I mean, lawyer, dentist, and real estate agent. How long <laughs> well, were you uh, in school? <laughs> well, you know, I, I've been a dentist for over 20 years, and I'm one of those people who likes to study. So as I ran my dental practice and I have a family, I'm married, I have three sons, I studied at night uh, and uh, I was able to um, finish law school. I passed California bar. Now, in terms of real estate, I, I, it's not something that I do for a living. Right. It's uh, uh, just um, when my husband and I were selling our old house, my husband said, listen, you study all the time anyways. Might as well just take this real estate broker's exam and we can save on the commission. That's what I did. I just said for the uh, real estate broker's uh, license exam and passed it. And uh, okay. so I was the listing broker for our own house, and that's how it came about. So as far as law school, uh, this has also been a point of some contentious, contention. Uh, I believe you went to William Howard Taft University. Now, that is, yeah. that is not accredited by the American Bar Association, well, right? Let, let me explain. I passed the California Bar. I'm, I'm licensed. Uh, I'm a licensed attorney in the state of California. I'm admitted to uh, present clients in the Supreme Court of the United States of America. I did study at night. Uh, I did go what's called night school. I did uh, study on my own. And uh, if anything, it just shows that I have more brains than average Joe because it's not that easy to study independently at night pass the exam, right. go to the California bar, which is considered to be the most difficult bar in the nation, and pass it. I've seen people who went to Harvard and Yale and, and failed. Uh, sure. when, uh, but, when so, I but so we are, so, we are correct in saying it, it is not accredited by the American it's, bar, you know, just, just it's, to be clear. It's not, well, it's, I, it is, uh, you know what, I don't know what is the accreditation. They have accreditation for day schools, and then there are schools of different education. Uh, um, extend studies, which I did, uh, and that's the only difference that I didn't go to regular school where you, you know, sit uh, during the day and yeah. take class. Okay, but fair enough. I, uh, but I did pass the California bar, uh, and anybody can go and check. Um, I passed. I, I am licensed in the state of California and been licensed since 2002, and I'm also licensed with American Bar Association. You are welcome to go and check. Um, I'm licensed uh, with them as well. Uh, I'm a member of American Bar Association. Okay. So, you know, people were trying to discredit me. No, I'm just trying to get the facts out. That's all. I, yeah, we get sure. a lot of questions. Yeah, no so let's, let's move on to the, the, the topic at hand. So I've re I heard you recently spoke at a teabagger conference. Is that right? Well, that's really disrespectful. Uh, what kind of teabagger conference? Uh, if, you are, if you are referring to the tea party, yes. Um, 
I have given speeches uh, at a number of Tea Party con conventions. And by the way, uh, Tea Party patriots are very active. These people are concerned about this country, and they actually were credited with major shift uh, in politics as of late. Uh, you've seen how typically blue states like uh, Virginia, New Jersey, and Massachusetts switched from Democratic Party to Republican Party. Hmm. And I'm sure you've seen reports that it's largely because of the support from the Tea Party movement. And I'm, I'm sure you've heard that I'm considering uh, running for the uh, position of Secretary of State of California, specifically because of the massive fraud that was seen in elections. I've heard rumors, but I was, yeah, it was hard oh, to believe. Rumor. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, just before I started this interview, I was in the bank because uh, I needed to open a separate uh, account right. for the campaign and, you know, so that uh, I can deposit money in the account. I will pay the fee I and follow. I will put my name on the ballot, there are a lot of people that are urging me to run because no, uh, I follow. You know, I understand. Yeah, I, I just, I was just setting that my my real question to you is, I, politically, you also don't agree with with Barack Obama, right? So it's not so much it, it's it, there is the birther question, but you also politically consider yourself more in line with the Tea Party. Well, you know, uh, by the way, uh, that's another misconception because uh, tea, uh, a lot of people believe. Uh, that a uh, Tea Party movement is um, this is one political party, and as you've seen, actually, uh, people that uh, participate in Tea Party movement, Tea Party conventions, belong to different political parties. Um, but I'm asking, uh, no, I understand, Orly, but I'm asking you politically, you would consider yourself conservative, liberal, or how? Well, I, I am conservative. Okay. I, I, clearly, I'm more than at least 99.9 percent .9 of the population of this nation. I'm more conservative than Barack Obama. Right. This one is straight to, to communism. No, so, it's crazy. Uh, and and, and, it's and a lot Marx. of people originally, uh, you know, when he came with those slogans, hope and change, did know that there isn't much hope for any change, uh, not a, at least not any change for the better. But now people are seeing that uh, basically... His political philosophy is the philosophy of uh, big government, government takeover of most of the industries. Uh, we've seen takeover in uh, banking, in automotive, and now he's trying the takeover of the healthcare. And uh, uh, and you've seen the polls. Um, uh, large, I mean, majority of population of this country do not believe that that's the way to go. And that's so, if why I if I understand correctly. That. If I understand correctly, and I, I really want to get into the meat of the birth certificate and everything, if I understand correctly, you disagree with a majority of Barack Obama's policies as president, but you also say he was born in Kenya, and because of that, he shouldn't be president anyway, right? So it's two-sided. Uh, well, uh, let me let me explain something. Uh, for example, I'm more conservative than Hillary Clinton. Right. Uh, however, I would have never filed any lawsuits challenging Hillary Clinton simply, uh, even though I disagree with her on a number of issues, simply because uh, she is legitimate for uh, U.S. presidency. Right. And I, I never filed any lawsuits against anybody else because, as far as I know, all the other candidates have been legitimate. 